Hey, what's going on there, fam? Hey, wanted to share with you today some ideas I've been having around this idea of alignment and the power of alignment. So to start, you know, a good question, I think a good place to start is, what does it mean to be in alignment? So to me, the idea of being in alignment means being in relationship, being in connection with and community with things that feel good, things that make us feel good. Maybe it's our work, our job. Maybe it's our work. Maybe it's our jobs. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's just general activities or commitments that we might have. So being in alignment, taking action, being in relationship, being in connection and communication with things that make us feel good. So you could say, you know, what does it, um, what does it mean to be in alignment or to be in alignment with what? For me, being in alignment means doing things, engaging in things that are in alignment or in agreement with our vision, our values, that thing that is inside of us that speak to us that kind of guides us. So so what's the so what's the value of being in alignment, right? Have you ever been in a relationship that that it feels like there's a drag to it, an energetic drag, an energetic pull. Maybe a relationship that actually drains your energy, or maybe you hang out with someone and you actually feel kind of drained after after you spend time with them. Or maybe you get up in the morning and you're feeling good and you go into work and it drains your energy. Maybe you're in a job that you don't enjoy that much or you're spending time around people that you don't enjoy that much. Or maybe it's just the general activities that you're engaged in or the people that you spend time around that when you engage in the ex- these activities or you spend time in these activities, there's a, there's a drain there, right? It takes energy. You maybe enter the, enter the time or the relationship or the commitment feeling good and you leave worse than you entered, right? Versus a relationship that inspires you and whenever you hang out with this person, significant other or not, you leave feeling energized, you leave feeling inspired. Maybe it's an activity that when you engage in it, you, that that activity inspires you, energizes you, brightens you up. Maybe it's doing an activity, starting a business, that when you do it, when you take these steps, when you take this inspired action, it, it, it energizes you and inspires you. So that's the value of being in alignment. So we all have this inner voice, this inner navigational system, and it's almost like an energetic feeling that we can feel. So when we, when we take action that is out of alignment, we can feel it. There's almost a resistance to it, right? Versus actions that we might take, right, that are in alignment, that give us energy, that feel good. So there's like a, there's like a give and a take of energy in these things. So for me, whenever I take actions, and now sometimes these actions might defy logic. Maybe it's saying, I need to shift this relationship or shift this job, shift this career, um, shift these activities, shift this arrangement. Maybe that, that, that move feels as though it defies logic, right? You don't see the logical step, but whenever we take that step, one, it gives us energy. It makes us feel better. Two, it, um, seems to, there seems to be a response, a universal response. Maybe you could call it God. You could call it, you know, universe, whatever you want to call it, source, power, that when we take these actions that are aligned, there seems to be a response. Like maybe there's a, there's a source, there's a power, there's something there that acts in our favor and benefits us. So being in alignment, taking actions that are in alignment with our values, with our highest self, with our inner guidance system versus being out of alignment, taking action, being in relationship, being in connection that drains us and the value of that being the energy we receive from it, the inspiration we receive from it or lack thereof and the assistance that we receive from it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Kristen, great to, great to see you. Miss Nancy Graver, nice to see you as well. Hey, thanks so much for checking in and uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts on this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.